Boeing is building a new secret weapon that aims to replace the Airbus A350 and even A380 will be introduced next year. But hilariously, Airbus somehow gave a big slap to Boeing for that ambition. Find out in today's episode of Fligavia how Airbus A350 crushed Boeing's secret weapon, the 777X. But before we start, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you'll be the first to see our next videos. Now, let's dive in. The Boeing 777X is the largest twin jet ever built. Its enormous engines and unprecedented wingspan promise unmatched fuel efficiency, ushering in a new era of high capacity, long range flying. Although it has taken flight, it won't join airline fleets until around 2025, though this timeline could change. Meanwhile, Airbus's A350 is now the largest wide body aircraft they produce following the end of A380 production. Constructed with advanced composite materials, the A350 is the lightest wide body in production, which Airbus claims results in 25% lower operating costs and quieter, more efficient operation. While the Boeing 777X is progressing through its testing schedule, it has not yet been delivered to any airlines. In contrast, the Airbus A350 has been in service since 2015, with over 600 units operated by at least 40 carriers worldwide. The 777X is initially being developed as the Tripe 7-9, with plans Plans for a smaller 777-8 version and a potential stretched 777-10X if demand warrants it. Notably, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa are preparing to receive the 777-8 freighter. The A350 comes in two variants, the A350-900 and the A350-1000. The A350-900 entered service in January 20th, 15 with Qatar Airways, and the A350-1000 followed in February 20th, 18, also with Qatar Airways. As of May 20th, 24, the A350 program has received 1308 firm orders from 60 customers, with 602 delivered primarily the smaller minus 900 type. Besides, freighter variant A350F also has 55 orders to date, but there are no deliveries yet. Boeing also reports 481 orders for the 777X, though this may be inaccurate as some airlines like Emirates have swapped 777X orders for other aircraft without adjustments in Boeing's reporting. Thus, while the A350 leads in orders, it's quite an unfair comparison due to its longer availability. The A350 and 777X both incorporate remarkable next generation technology that enhances fuel efficiency and passenger comfort within their advanced wide-body designs. The 777X, set to be the world's largest twin engine jet, incorporates advancements from the 787 Dreamliner. It boasts the largest wingspan of any commercial aircraft and unique folding wingtips for better airport compatibility. The 777X is powered by the GE9X engines, the largest and most efficient aircraft engines at present, utilizing composite fan blade technology for greater thrust and reduced fuel consumption. Passengers will enjoy a more spacious cabin, expansive windows, optimal pressurization, ambient lighting, and enhanced design. The A350, constructed with 53% composite materials, offers lightweight durability. Its adaptive wings flap in flight to optimize performance. The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines are noted for quiet operation and fuel efficiency. Airbus focused on aerodynamic efficiency using computational fluid dynamics to refine the aircraft's design. The A350 offers advanced air conditioning, mood lighting, smart pressurization systems to minimize jet lag, and a broader cabin for passenger comfort. Size. In terms of size, the 777X is notably larger. The A350 can accommodate 315 to 369 passengers in a standard two-class layout, with its minus 900 and minus 1000 models maxing out at 440 and 480 seats, respectively. Boeing's Tripe 7-9, still awaiting commercial validation, is advertised to accommodate 426 passengers in two classes. While its ultimate seating limit is yet to be revealed, it will likely exceed that of the A350. Cabin design. In cabin design, the A350 generally features a nine seat per row economy section with seats averaging 18 inches in width. Yet, some operators have added a 10th seat, reducing the width to a snug 16.5 inches. The 777X plans to implement a 10 seat per row economy configuration akin to the current 777. The 777X's wider fuselage is expected to enhance passenger comfort. Cargo capability. Looking at cargo capabilities, the A350-1000 boasts a 68-ton payload and room for 44 LD3 containers, while the minus 900 variant carries 53.3 tons and fits 36 LD3 containers. In comparison, the Tripe 7-9 is expected to handle 48 LD3 containers, but its payload capacity remains unannounced. A critical aspect to consider is the maximum takeoff weight. 
Airbus faced challenges with the A380's MTO as the aircraft's weight limit was reached before its cargo hold was full, preventing it from being developed as a cargo plane. The Dash 9's MTO is set at 775,000 pounds, whereas the A350's MTO is much lower, with 617,295 pounds for the 900 and 696,661 pounds for the 1000. Fuel consumption. In terms of fuel consumption, the Tripe 7-9 has a fuel capacity of 350,410 pounds and can travel up to 7,285 nautical miles. This suggests an approximate fuel consumption of 48 pounds per nautical mile. In contrast, the A350-1000 holds 274,808 pounds of fuel and boasts a range of 8,700 nautical miles, resulting in a fuel usage of about 32 pounds per nautical mile but it's essential to consider the inherent weight differences between the aircraft. The Airbus A350, 1,000 tips, the scales, at 284,000 pounds, approximately 129,000 kilograms, while the Boeing 777-9 stands heavier at 400,000 pounds, around 181,400 kilograms. The A350 significantly reduces its overall weight by incorporating advanced materials into its structure. Although the ultimate assessment of this advantage will only be possible once the Dash 9 begins regular flights, preliminary estimates can be drawn from its stated fuel capacity and range, and certainly the full picture includes the fuel consumption per passenger, which is a key concern for airlines. When considering a standard two-class configuration, the A350 consumes 0.09 pounds of fuel per seat for each nautical mile flown. The Tripe 7-9's consumption is slightly higher at 0.11 pounds per seat per nautical mile. Given the myriad of factors like flight distance, weight at takeoff, and others, it's challenging to declare a clear winner in efficiency. The 777X may have an advantage with its larger capacity, but the AA350's lighter weight could tip the scales in its favor. Who's the winner? As for the Boeing 777X's ability to meet industry demands, only time will answer. The aircraft is navigating through significant pre-service challenges. The A350 has faced its own set of market and operational hurdles, such as the issues with Qatar Airways aircraft paint, leading to dissatisfaction among key clients. Predicting whether the 777X will encounter similar difficulties post-launch is speculative at best. The competition between the A350 and the 777X is set to be compelling. Both aircraft boast impressive specs on paper with comparable ranges and capacities. Whether the 777X's larger size will attract airlines over the established Airbus remains to be seen. The A350, known for its lower cost, flexibility, and reliability, despite some airlines experiencing issues with exterior wear, is a formidable contender for Boeing to surpass. Moreover, when airlines require the utmost seating capacity, the Tripe 7-9 standard Stands alone, as Airbus has no equivalent. However, given the 777's extensive modification, there may be reservations about potential early service issues, reminiscent of the 787's battery problems and the well-documented MAX crisis. So in general, at the moment, the advantage seems to be leaning towards the Airbus A350 in this competition for its solid performance history, cutting-edge technology, consistent dependability, and, more importantly, lower price. While the Boeing 777X, about $10 million more expensive, shows considerable potential, its yet-to-be-proven status and the obstacles it has encountered make the A350 a more reliable choice for airlines in search of a new wide-body option. For example, a significant event in May 2022 solidified that fact in which Qantas Airways, an Australian flag carrier, announced their choice of the A350 for the ambitious Project Sunrise flights instead of the 777X. This project aims to start non-stop flights from Australia's east coast to Europe and New York. The decision was influenced by the immediate availability and proven performance of the A350 series, which is already in operation, including the ultra-long-range A350-900, neutral long-range. Despite a back Backlog of orders, acquiring an A350 is more feasible within a tight time frame compared to the 777X, with the A350-1000S scheduled for delivery to Qantas by 2025. This coincides with the expected service entry of Boeing's Tripe 7-9, but Qantas requires the yet-to-be-scheduled Dash 8 variant, whose timeline is uncertain due to Boeing's delays with the Tripe 7-9.
With the aviation industry moving swiftly towards ultra-long-haul flights, exemplified by Air New Zealand's recent New York service, Qantas could not risk the indefinite wait for the Tripe 7-8, which would significantly postpone Project Sunrise. Besides, the choice of the A350 by Qantas was also influenced by the attractive pricing and deals available. It's common practice for aircraft manufacturers to offer significant discounts, often up to half the catalog price, when selling airplanes to airlines. These discounts can decisively sway an airline's choice. Alan Joyce, Qantas's CEO, remarked that the offer from Airbus was compelling, combining an attractive price with superior customer experience, fuel efficiency, and lower operating costs, making it an offer too appealing to reject. In essence, Airbus leveraged the delays in the 777X program to present Qantas with an offer that was exceptionally favorable. So, what is your point of view about these two aircraft? Please let us know in the comment section, and don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it.